Well, the cleanup continues in West and Central Alabama tonight following last week's deadly tornado. But for some, cleaning up physical debris is only the beginning. Getting over emotional wounds will take much longer. Stephanie Brown lives in the Kingston community of Otaga County, where seven people lost their lives. Her brother was among them. She talked with WSFA 12 News reporter Brady Talbert. A front porch without a home. This is where Stephanie Brown used to live. Her mobile home was destroyed in the Otaga County Twister. She was running errands in Montgomery that day. And the next news I got that the tornado had hit and took my brother. Solomon Antonio Smith was Brown's youngest brother. He lived just down the street. You can see this is the sidewalk that once led up to Solomon's home. His sister tells me he was actually outside when the storm moved into this area. He then went inside to seek shelter and then his mobile home exploded. The trailer was lifted up the first time and sat back down the tornado. Then it picked it back up and then exploded. And I assume, not, I don't know, because I wasn't there. That's when he got hurt and died. Now Brown is only left with photos of her brother. She's had to find them by digging through debris. She remembers him as a man who deeply loved his family. It's five of us still. My brother wasn't perfect, but he was perfect for us. She's relying on her faith during this tragic time and has found great peace in knowing her brother is in a better place. Wherever he at, I believe he happy, baby. And as for her future? I can't say, but I'm gonna keep praying. I keep asking God to guide me, show me, and I'm fine. He spared my life. One of her priorities will be finding a permanent place to live. As for now, she's staying in a hotel. Brady Talbert, WSFA 12 News. Family tells us that Smith's funeral will be this Sunday at 10 o'clock at the United Christian Church in Prattville.